Hey everybody, welcome to TechFluence Top 5, where I show off the five must-have products of the month to keep your life running smoothly. Thank you to TechFluence for sponsoring this video. First up, let's talk about the daily challenge that I have of keeping my phone charged. It doesn't even matter what phone I'm using because it is a guarantee that I will use enough battery to drain it before dinner time. Well, this is the Basius free to pull power bank. If you haven't heard of Basius before, they are the world's number one in retractable power products. The free to pull power bank was recently released and it has 20,000 milliamp hour battery and it can charge at 65 watts. So this battery is like four times the size of the battery built into my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, right now you can see that my battery is super low. So let's plug this in and see how fast we can charge it up. But wait, we don't even need to find a charging cable because great news, there is a retractable cable built right in. Now this cable is 27.6 inches long and can charge at 60 watts for output and input. So all you need to do is pull it until you have it the length you want, let go, and then it will be ready to charge. Now when charging my phone, you can see that it shows the different color when I'm connected to a high power charger. It then took 60 minutes for my phone to go from 27% all the way up to 100% using about 30% of the power bank. Now when I'm done using the charger, all I need to do is give it a slight pull. It will retract back and magnetize the cable there so you are ready to take this on the go. Now I have been traveling recently and I can't tell you how difficult it was to find a USB-C cable in my backpack to start getting things charged. I even had my big laptop power brick out with me on the plane and I pull it out, set it all up, and then the outlet on the plane didn't even work. Now if I had the free to pull power bank, I would have been able to easily plug it into my laptop and continue to work with ease with that 65 watt charging ability. If you do have an extra USB-C cable, you can plug it in here and you can also have two devices charging at the same time. And when you need to charge the free to pull power bank, you can use the cable that is already here and plug it into a USB-C charging brick to get this charged up to speed. And again, it's going to charge back up at that 60 watts power. So it's going to happen pretty quickly. On the power bank, there is an easy to read intelligent display that will show you battery status in real time by pressing the button here on the side. Now, Basius gave me an awesome discount code for the free to pull power bank, as well as they're doing a giveaway. You can check out those links down in the description below. Now, what if you need to charge something a bit bigger than a phone, like a car on the go? That's where the GoSun EV solar charger comes in. This massive portable solar charger is attached to the top of your EV and is collecting sun rays wherever you go. Built into the 4x4 EV charger case is a lithium battery that will be charged up with the solar panels as you're going to work, a park, or your favorite camping spot. When you arrive, you simply open up the EV solar charger box and unfold a large array of solar panels that can provide 1200 watts per hour to your EV. That's enough to give you up to 30 miles a day and less time spent at the charging station. When unfolding the panel, it has rubberized stickers placed to help protect the vehicle when in use. When it's time to head home, you just fold the solar panels back up and you are on your way in no time. The rooftop storage box is built to be aerodynamic and has a lock to keep it secure. There is even an app that you can use to track charging progress, set charging schedules, and manage energy consumption. I think this is a must have for any EV owner and I can see how helpful this might be when you spend some time out in the wilderness, you won't have to worry about finding a charging station before heading home. The GoSun EV solar charger is compatible with all EV chargers and long term this is going to help you avoid the increasing prices of electricity which are now 50 to 60 cents per kilowatt hour. Reserve your GoSun EV solar charger in the link down in the description below. Now, while you're on the road, another device that can be extremely useful is the Vasco Translator V4. This universal translator has 108 languages with free lifetime connectivity that works in nearly 200 countries. Once we turn on the translator V4, it shows all the ways in which we can use it to help us. We can use it to translate a conversation, a photo, text, a group chat, or even learn. Let's start with the conversation. First, you just need to select which language you are going to choose. So here we're going to choose English and we're going to choose German. And then there your favorites are going to show up at the top. You can tap the on-screen microphone buttons to begin your conversation or over here on the side, you easily can choose these two buttons. When I hold down the gray button, it's going to translate English into German. When we hold down the black button, it's going to translate German into English. Then it's going to give us an on-screen readout of the text as well as a voice of what was being said translated into the new language. I just hold down the gray button and speak and let go when I'm done talking. Dann wird der Text 
Text auf dem Bildschirm vorgelesen und das Gesprochene in die neue Sprache übersetzt. It then instantly translates it on screen and then speaks out what I has said in German. Then, when the next person is talking, all I need to do is hold down the black button while they are talking and it will then translate it into English so I can read it on screen and give me a verbal message. Was machst du in deiner Freizeit? What do you do in your free time? Now this solves so many problems that I have had before when trying to translate a conversation using a smartphone. This makes it very simple and clear for each person that is participating in the conversation. And I love that it's an all-in-one device and that's its main purpose. To help this conversation feature work so well, it uses AI to improve the conversation to text ability and gives advanced correction to the speech synthesis using neural network models. That just means it knows what it's doing and it's going to make everything work much better. This also helps it distinguish a human voice from a background noise for greater accuracy during conversations. Next, let's try the text translation. All I need to do is go here into the photo. So at the bottom, I'm going to choose what language I want it to translate into. I'm going to take a picture of it and then it's automatically going to translate that full page into the language I want. Now here I also have the option to turn off the background picture so I have a white background so it's easier to read. Now comparing this to the English version of the manual, you can see how quickly it was able to make a accurate translation. So if you're traveling and you see a sign and you want to know more about what that sign says, you just take a picture of it and then it will instantly be translated. This is such a helpful handy feature to have right on the Vasco V4. This will even help you learn other languages as you use the text to feature to translate words or phrases. And you can use the learning section to swipe right on words you know to help you continue to build your vocabulary in other languages. And to top it all off, there is even a flashlight built in to help you easily explore new unknown locations. The Vasco V4 is going with me whenever I travel. Use the discount code BRETT10 to receive 10% off your translator V4, linked down in the description below. It's now time to head home and take a look at the Ultralock U-Bolt Pro Wi-Fi that is keeping my home secure. I was able to get this smart lock set up in just a few minutes and now it gives me eight secure options to unlock the door. First, there is the touch and go 360 fingerprint ID. I just press my fingerprint on the scanner and the door unlocks. Next, we have the anti-peep keypad where I can enter random numbers before and after my pin code so you can't guess what it is. Do you think you know what it is? I can then use the U-Home app to also unlock there is a web portal. There's also an app on supported Apple Watches. I can also create an e-key to easily share with guests and family members. And there is even a mechanical key option with the hidden keyhole under the lock. To add even more functionality, I have the ability to connect this with Google Assistant as well as Amazon Alexa for voice control to lock it. Or you can use a pin protected voice command to unlock it. It also integrates with SmartThings and IFTTT. Now, one of my favorite features is the Smart Auto Lock. You can have it set so that as soon as you get inside the home, the door will automatically lock behind you, so now you are home safe. Now, the time on this can be adjusted so that it's not automatically locking as soon as you enter the door, but you can have it set for a few minutes after you get home to then lock. Now, sometimes I have this turned off because the kids are in and out all day, but I like to have it turn on when it's nighttime so that as soon as it is a certain time, the door locks and I know that my home is secure. Now, there's also a door sensor that attaches so it can know when your door is actually closed so it will only lock when the door is closed. The app will even notify you if the kids have left the door open so that you can then go and close it and secure your home. Now, sometimes you may want to have the door unlock when you arrive home, and this is possible with the auto unlock feature. So if you get within a thousand or 300 meters of your home, you can then have it automatically unlocked so that there's no hassle getting through the door. It's unlocked, you go in, and then as soon as you shut the door, you can have it automatically lock behind you. Now, not only is it smart, but it is highly secure and very durable. It has proven to be up to 35 times the strength of a standard residential lock. It also has an IP65 rating, which is protecting it from dust, as well as it makes it weatherproof so that it can withstand the heat and the cold outside. To learn more about the Ultralock U-Bolt Pro Wi-Fi, check out the link down in the description below and use the discount code for 15% off all the available locks on the Ultralock website. Ultralock will also be doing a giveaway, so you can check out more details down in the description below. Now that we are finally home, it's time to relax and control our entire smart home with just the click of a few buttons. This is the Linkshira Smart Controller. 
This little Wi-Fi connected controller can control up to 52 different smart home devices. Here on the side, it has a USB-C port that will charge up its three month battery. And on the front, there is a wheel with four buttons to allow you to easily select items on the e-ink display and control them with four different actions. I can press to turn on a device. I can double press to turn off a device. I can press and hold and then scroll clockwise to increase the brightness or counterclockwise to lower the brightness. As soon as I connected the smart controller and the Linkshura app, I was able to instantly connect many services I was using like Ecobee, SmartThings, Philips Hue, and much more. Now, once you have linked some services in the app, you can then go through and create a button for something to have happen when you press a button on the smart controller. You can go through and select what the button is for, select a relevant icon and choose a four character code so you kind of know what that device is. And then I just need to link it to a device from one of the compatible services. So here I'm gonna go through and link it to a LifeX Lite. So then I have the option to control it right from the smart controller. For a button click, I could choose on, off or toggle and something similar for a double click. Then I can choose what holding and then rotating the button will do. Now that we've done this, let's try it out. So over here, I have this light, the white light. So if I double click, it's going to turn that light off. If I press once, it's going to turn that light on. And then I can hold down for two seconds and then quickly rotate um, clockwise to increase the brightness or counterclockwise to lower the brightness. And it will tell you how much you have adjusted that. So maybe a little low there, let's increase it just a little bit. And there we have our light coming back. So that works so great. Now controlling one device at a time is very convenient, especially if you have that one device that is always on at night, you can quickly grab this by your nightstand. Maybe it's mounted to the included wall mount and then you can adjust your device. But I think it's time that I control many devices at once and we can do this by setting up a Linksura scene to control our entire wall of devices behind us. So here we can create a Linksura scene. This will allow me to adjust multiple devices at once. So I just give it a name it creates a new button and then I can go through and add other buttons I've already created to my scene and then by one press I can change a bunch of devices. There's another way to do this by linking your Amazon Alexa or your Google Home. Let me show you how to do that. The first thing I need to do is link Linksura to Google Home or link the Amazon Alexa skill. Now once I've done that I need to go back into the Linksura app and create a new button using Google Home as where that device is going to be created. Then I'm going to head to the Google Home app again, and there will be a new device that has been added into the in your home option. I'm then going to go through and give it a room so that it then knows where it's supposed to be. Now is what I can do is go through and create a routine that controls a full list of devices. Now under the routine, under actions, I can then choose if it's going to be the single click or the double click. And so here I've created a routine that's automatically going to turn on or off all of the different devices behind me. Let's try it out. So all I have to do is scroll to that menu here of where I have that button set. So if I double click, it should start a routine where it's then automatically going to turn off all of the different devices behind me just with that one button, which makes this so helpful. I could have all kinds of different routines and scenes created so I can really control my entire home with one device. So if I push the button again, it's then going to run the routine where all of the different lights turn on in this room, which makes it so nice. Now, if you are trying to use this in the dark, there is a backlight to the e-ink display here so that it's very easy to see at night when you are trying to control your different devices. Now, because I'm able to create 52 buttons on the smart controller, I'm going to be able to have all kinds of different scenes to be able to instantly control many different parts of my smart home. And here I integrated my Sonos speaker. So with the press of a button, I can have it start playing music. And then if I want to adjust the volume, I can pull down and then rotate it to lower or raise the volume. And then if I want to go to the next song, I can easily double press and I'll skip to the next song. You also have the option to go to the previous song or next. So tons of options here with the Linksura and Sonos. Now Linksura will add an update later this year that adds matter compatibility. Now I also like that you can use the Linksura app to control your different buttons even if your controller is in another room. To pick up your own Linksura smart controller, make sure you head down to the link in the description below. They'll also be a part of a giveaway. And that is it for your Techfluence top five helping you at home and on the go. If you have any further questions, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.